let's get started you want to go on any web browser and go on the raspberry pi website so it's raspberryfi.com you want to click on software and then on download for windows or any other system so you got this download you want to run it click yes click install and click run you gonna choose your device so you click on the device you own i have a pi 4 i click on that and then the operating system you want to go in other specific purpose os and then 3d printing and octopi and the stable version then click on storage and you want an sd card with um, at least a bit of space because you're gonna store uh, your print on this if you don't do video you don't need that much space but otherwise i do recommend a bigger storage and you're gonna click on edit settings it's really important so uh, you you're gonna choose a name and a password for the um, the pi so you need to remember remember this one so I'm just gonna say a tutorial one two three, and then you want to set your Wi-Fi with your Wi-Fi password, uh, just like that. And the rest isn't that important. I do click on this, and that's about it. You click on save, and click on yes. Click on yes again, and it's gonna start writing. When that's finished, you can close that, and it's gonna say you can remove. So just click continue. And then what you want to do is actually take out the SD card from the reader and install it in the Raspberry Pi. When you're going to install it, it's going to flash a little light yellow and you want to wait for it to uh, stop flashing. So after that's done and the light has stopped flashing, you're going to return on your web browser and you're going to write the address that you put in the host name, so mine was ras local. and I want to load this so you're gonna have the setup wizard uh, because it's your first time, so click next then uh, click next again and username I'm gonna put this again be sure to um, put it somewhere so you don't forget it create an account then you click on next uh, click enable connectivity check click on that wait then click on next this you can click on disable and click on next and then click enable plugin backlist click on next uh, here you can test your webcam before you finish the setup if you have one connected click on next then you can rename your team so i'm using an ender tree so i'm gonna just say this then click on next and click on finish so after that you can click on reload and you have octoprint setup so we're gonna want to install the octo screen plugin so click on the setting icon and click on plugin manager then get more then you're gonna copy the url from the description so copy it and then click install then you can wait for it to install it shouldn't be long and that's done you can click close and you don't need to restart now you can wait to finish all the command now what we're gonna do is open another page and we're gonna install PuTTY to connect via SSH so go on PuTTY.org and then you want to download it uh, the Windows version open that click on next next install then we wait for it to download click on yes uh, you can uncheck that click on finish 
and then you guys install so we're gonna launch it uh, it's like to old computer click on that and in the host name you're gonna write the same thing that you wrote in the web browser so you're gonna click on open uh, click accept and then you want to use the login that you use when doing the OS on the SD card so mine was tutorial and then tutorial one two three it's gonna launch this so I'm gonna have a set of command in the description they might change with time because it's a it's a plugin that gets updated so uh, these other command the first one is it's this so copy um, right click with your mouse then click enter then you want to write the password again click enter and then click Y to and then click enter and then this part uh, usually takes a while because there's a lot to download so you can just wait once that's done now you want to copy these two comments so right click once again click enter and then the fixes that I that I that I found there are two of them so the first one is because it does not want to um, install the package correctly so you want to copy this command here and that's gonna fix the package click Y then click enter so when that's done uh, you're gonna click uh, right click again with the new command that's gonna open this page and that's the second fix that you need to do so click on the um, arrow to go down and um, I just need to find it okay here in the config file you're gonna go here and you're gonna replace pi by your username so mine was tutorial and you're gonna click Control X then click on Y then click on enter and copy that command click yes uh, I mean Y and then click enter click OK then you want to select octo screen so just click enter it has all a bunch of other things then you're gonna do sudo reboot now one second and now after this reboot you should be good to go so on your screen connected to the Raspberry Pi, you're gonna have the Octo screen interface. If you guys have any question, uh, you can leave a comment. I, I'll try to answer it the best I can. And uh, that's pretty much it.